Yo, welcome back to another video. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry I ain't been recording. I literally was trying to just take a little detox, you know what I'm saying? From the, uh, not necessarily from YouTube, but just from like, I guess from everything involved with the phone shit. I don't know if y'all seen my video when I was telling y'all about put the phone down and get around your people and really interact. So that's what I've been doing um, since I left home, just putting the phone down. Um, interacting with my people you know what i'm saying i went and saw the 10 acres acres was beautiful the land was beautiful um it was multiple people there checking out the the land as well so i didn't record no video because i didn't want to you know privacy issues and shit like that but the land that i checked out wasn't right for the camp wasn't right for what i got going on it wasn't no uh it wasn't no trees nowhere so it was just like it's just, I'm, you're not trying to do that, y'all. I'm not trying to be in nowhere where it's like direct sun just on me. And not necessarily like because of the dogs. Of course, I can put them, you know, build a facility for them. But like, what what people don't understand is when there's no shade trees, your house literally, your house is literally on fire. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm experiencing right now in Houston. Like, I can put my air, my AC on 80, and my AC still won't cut off. All day, it's running all day because the sun is cooking the house. The whole house is just hot on the outside. It's cool on the inside, but the whole house is hot on the outside. So the AC always be running, always be running 24 seven. So I said, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not building a house, I'm not building a home where there's no shade, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even, I don't even want a house that don't got no shade. Just not right now. This ain't the time for that, because what I would need to to make that comfortable would cost me way more than I have at the moment. So right now we still grinding. I'm gonna keep grinding, right? Um, I am in Arkansas, Little Rock, where I'm from. As you guys know, I'm from a dangerous city, so like, as far as just doing videos and posting videos too much, I really don't post my location. I really don't even let people know I'm home because I like to stay private. I'm very private. If you know me personally, you know I'm here. Other than that, you don't know I'm here. So dropping a video and with over 40,000 people, you know, subscribe to me, sharing that I am in Little Rock it would just bring me unwanted attention and people call and then why you ain't got it out? So this video I'm posting right now, I am in Little Rock right now, but by the time this video gained any type of traction, I'm already, I already be gone. So my daughter, my daughter's in the back. Uh, we grabbing some wings real quick. We're gonna head to my partner house, hang out with my brother, my brother Bo. Check out, make sure y'all check out my friend Bo Boy, man. Great, great, great person, great artist. I'm trying to get him to do YouTube. Um, my brother did a lot of time, man. So he just, he definitely got a story, like a real beautiful story. He's a very beautiful person. I can't wait for the world to get to know him. I can't wait for the world to get to know him. I got to know him. Um, the day I got here, my granny was in the hospital. Um, I took my friend that's lived here um, to his mom house because his granny funeral was the next day after we got here, so it's just been a lot. Like, I'm taking my partner, you know what I'm saying, to go see his, you know, bury his grandma and my grandma in the hospital, so it's just a lot. Like, I ain't really been in the mood to even deal with the phone and shit, but like, just want y'all to know I love y'all, and uh, I miss y'all too. And um, shout out to the people that's been sending me text messages and, and reaching out, and I appreciate that. Um, as far as puppies available, um, I think it's just a, it's just a few puppies available. I have two I like males available: a cryptic merle and black merle, and um, pawball available as well. Also, I will be showing y'all while I'm here. I will be picking up Chloe puppies, um, a few of those, and bringing those back to Houston with me to get those on on the meal plan. I like to have them on. And uh, I will be showing those very, very, very soon. 
Um, it's two blues and a merle left. The two blues are 2,000 a piece. It's a male and a female. I am taking deposits on that right now. All the questions and pictures, you get pictures, you get videos later. If you're interested in those two dogs, it's best to go and just send me the money. Go and get your deposit in, go and lock that in because it's only two. It's only two blues. It's only two blues available. So definitely hit me up to lock that in. Um, so and then next week we have a couple puppies being delivered. Um, meeting up with my brother, the Devon family out in Dallas very soon. My other partner that bought a, uh, bought Brenda, he's gonna be going to Dallas soon too. So we're just we're very, very, very busy. Huh? Okay, come here. Hey, so what's up? Hey, what's up? Hi. Look how beautiful my kid is, yo. Oh my God, how did I make that? Happy. Yeah. Where are we gonna get to say hello? I mean, say the earrings. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going on right now. This is just a quick video. Um, Not much, not really showing you anything, just talking to y'all, let you guys know what's going on. I spend time with my baby, man. Yes. I could talk with y'all. Taking the school shop and make sure she got all the supplies and, and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm starting school next week. Probably y'all are too, or some of y'all are like me in school. Mm -hmm. I'm starting school next week. Are yeah, you excited? Mm-hmm. Well, they give me a pencil case. Oh yeah, we gotta get that. We can get that from like a dollar store. We have cute pencil cases there, Daddy. I like them. Yeah. So we got everything but a pencil case. We'll get that. And um, quick messages. I like to to leave y'all with good messages. Um, Leah, if you see somebody doing bad and you can't help them, don't talk about them. We all go through shit. We all hit rock bottom, we all go through that. No matter where you at in your life, only if you up, up right now, you gonna hit the bottom. It's inevitable, it's inevitable. Don't talk about people when they down, don't beat people when they down. I don't like stuff like that. If I see stuff like that on my Instagram, I see people um, posting negativity or um, talking about other camps, I block people all the time. Mind the business that pay you, understand what that means. If you can't help nobody out, then keep your opinion to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and, your head. and really keep your opinion to yourself anyway. Like if you ain't. Keep it in your head. Yeah, keep it in your head. If you ain't there to help nobody, then keep that to yourself, dog. We supposed to be, we all people, bro. We we supposed to be uplifting each other, or making each other feel good. Like every everybody go through stuff. We're supposed to make people feel happy, right. encouraged, and um, good in the heart. That's right. Definitely encouraged. Like my daughter said, you're supposed to be encouraging people. Like, if you don't have that type of energy, keep it to yourself. That's why I don't spread no hate. I don't talk about nobody. Whatever y'all, whatever somebody got going on, it's because they trying to figure it out. All right, you see somebody down and not all right, they trying to figure it out. And trust me, you're going to be there too. And you hope that you didn't put out enough love so when it's time for you to go through what you got to go through, the love come back. All right, close the video up. Okay, guys, I hope you have a good day. Don't, don't be sick.